there. I'm here to talk to you about uh, sardines. I eat, um, my interest in sardines is eating them as a preparedness point of view and collecting them. I have like 40 tins I'd like to review, um, but not just eating them out of a can. I know there's a lot of great folks on here that review them straight out of the can. Um, Matt with Tin Fish Story is considered one of the experts on it. I'm not an expert. Uh, this is only the second can of Tin Fish I've eaten. Uh, and I only ate the first one. I was going to wait and do it on a video. The video was really bad. Um, but I like the idea of the sustainability and, uh, there's a lot that goes into canned fish that doesn't go into other meat as far as accountability for it. So I'm just sort of interested in seeing how it is out of the can. Um, eating it on a cracker, eating it in a rice ball. I got these at an estate sale today. They were 50 cents. They haven't expired until 2024. I'm sure somebody's going to say something about buying stuff at an estate sale. They're sealed. They're King Oscar. They're in a bag. They don't expire until 2024. Um, I opened up the can. They are beautiful. Um, deeper down in the olive oil has better flavor. Uh, to me, they, they taste a little fishy. The texture is a little mushier than I'm used to. Um, but I like the flavor. They do smell a little bit like fish. So I'll go ahead and show you that now. Here, they're, they're nice. I mean, I've, I've already eaten them, of course. So that's not a very good representation. I'm sure you could go on one of Matt's videos. They, they fall apart. They, they're a little soft. The flavor is good down in the olive oil. Um, it's a, it's, the flavor is a little. So as we've seen how they are, I'm going to go ahead and try them now on a cracker with um, some fish and mustard. So I'm going to go ahead and try the cracker with cheese and mustard and the fish. So you can see here we got the, the th these three over here are this stout German style mustard and the ones on the right. So mm, I'm, I'm going to go with the not German mustard first because I know it's spicy. It's probably delicious. Like I said, it's the Sierra Nevada. Well, the first one I'm using is the Golden's Mustard Spicy Brown. I know you can buy it at every grocery store probably. And, um, cheers. a lot of vinegar and um that mustard <laughs> you almost can't taste the fish at all you can sort of taste it um the cracker carries it well it doesn't have a lot of flavor mm. much better bite That bite was much better. Got a lot of the filet. Um, the vinegar from this mustard, it has organic vinegar, water, mustard, sea salt, um, spices, turmeric. It's just, um, it's a level up from like a yellow mustard, just spiciness. Um, well, it goes pretty well with that. Like, Maybe we'll put some hot sauce on that, but let's go ahead and try the German style one. Oh, mmm. -hmm. I like this one much better. Um, if I'm German, I like um this. I don't know if it's the, the beer or the cane sugar. You just get that very traditional style German mustard and it sort of elevates the cracker and the fish. There's some sort of spice in, in a German style mustard. Now I'm sure I don't have one right now. Um, hot and spicy Chinese mustard would be really good because it would give you um, that mustardy taste and that spiciness of like hot sauce. But, um, I like these a lot better with a cracker than, than the plain. 
So I've gone ahead and prepared some rice balls and I've sort of done it three ways. I took some rice and did some um, sushi vinegar with rice vinegar, sh sugar, ginger juice, no chunks of ginger, it's just really quick with some old um, rice and I put a piece of the sardine inside of each one and did it into a ball. So this So this is the the first one we have. We got the shishido fumi furutake and the nori rice seasoning. I'm gonna try that. Sorry, this little clicker thing is not working. <clears throat> I try the plum one first. Don't want to have fishes. I'm gonna go ahead and try the plum one first. I did put um, a little ponzu on it also. The plum and the ponzu are a little too sweet together. That is, um, Maybe not the best combination with the fish. We'll try the one, the more traditional one with uh, seaweed. Much better. It really has that um, the nori makes it taste more um, like sushi type. Um, <clears throat> the plum is just too sweet with the ponzu. Maybe if I had done something spicy, this is to give you a good representation, like not everybody is going to have the time to make little fish balls, but we are over a bowl of rice. I mean, if you already know how you like to eat it, this is a good way to try it, but nothing special is sticking out. I mean, it, it, it's a good flavor, but because the texture is a little soft, it's like, you know, it's good. It's a reliable thing. You can get it anywhere. It's 50 cents for my can. Um, I'm going to move on and show you the next one. <clears throat> so the second one that we have here is, um, they're both rice balls. This one's a, uh, the next one we have here, this one is a plain rice. We have a piece of butter, some spicy miso, and a piece of fish. This one, the fish is in the rice and it's butter and miso. It might be considered a little redundant, but I, I really think how you lay your food, it tastes different. Um, I really enjoy butter a lot. This is uh, Lando Lakes salted butter, if it matters to you. Mm. I love spicy, I love spicy miso on rice. So of course I'm going to love it. You get your nice little fish fill. Um, that one's winning so far. Let's try, let's try the one with the little filet on the top. Let's see how. Hmm. I almost like that better because you get the rice and then the butter and the miso and then the fish and you just have this salty um, deliciousness on top and it's 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 good if you love spicy miso um, that's delicious so let's go ahead um, as you all may know or may not know there has been a worldwide shortage of sriracha and some ball because um, companies had issues with uh, growing the, the chilies. And so I have just recently been finding some ball in my area. I don't have any sriracha. Um, 
I would love to try this on, um, I would love to try this with a Sriracha male, but for reason. So what we got here is we got, uh, we have a, um, here we have a rice ball with a sardine in it and some some ball. So what we have here is some ball on a rice ball with the sardine in it. This is the same thing. Um, I put a little too much rice in the device, um, but I put some ponzu on it. And then this is rice with butter and a piece of the fish and a little bit of the sambal. Um, I wish I had hot sauce. I don't have hot sauce. I really think sambal is a, it, it, you should add it with other stuff, but we're going to go ahead and try it because, you know, why not? Cheers. needs butter. Let's try the one with the butter. It's good. It's spicy. I mean, you get that like hot saucy, like mm, delicious, but I'm still going with the spicy miso. Um, so it's my favorite but I'm not gonna dish on the fish so let's try the last one cheers I mean if I was gonna eat a whole bowl of this I'd either eat a whole packet of crackers with the, the cheese and the German mustard, or I would cook some rice. I'd put some ponzu on it. I would um, poach or do some eggs, put the fish in, and then put the spicy miso on top. And I really think it's a good, it's a round out of spicy. You get the sweet. I mean, some balls great, but it overpowers the fish, the rice, everything else. Um... If you didn't like fish, definitely put the sambal on it because it's going to cover up any fish flavor that you have. So let's review it up. At the end of the day, we got this Tiny Tots at an estate sale for 50 cents, which is a great deal. It's a pretty good fish. Um, certain stores where I live, this retails for $5, some $3. I'd pay $3. I would probably not pay five dollars for this unless I was traveling and needed a really good snack um but it is consistent the, the fish are a great size the oil is good you could um you know just mix some hot sauce in a can and eat it on a cracker without cheese without rice and you would have a really delicious lunch but you you could just put some some ball in it Mix it up with the olive oil and put it on crackers and you could have a great lunch or even a baguette or if you're somewhere like a roll, um, a toasted roll would be okay. And it, it would be, if you like spicy with the sambal, it would be great. Um, so till next time we figure out more condiments for rice balls. It's me out of here with your fish review. Alrighty.